that we present the key of the city of Zion to his holiness. على محمد صل على حبيبنا صل खलीफा के हम हैं खलीफा हमारा आ का हमारा 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 खलीफा हम शोर आलम बना दिया Chicago was established in the year 1900. Its founder claimed that Zion would wipe out all of Islam. A hundred years on, Islam is making a home in the very heart of this city. On the evening of Monday, 26th of September, 2022, by the grace of Allah the Almighty, Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih the Fifth, Ayyadahullah Ta'ala bin Asri al-Aziz, arrived at Chicago Airport for a tour of the United States of America. This historic visit of Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih is his first visit abroad since the start of the COVID pandemic. From the airport, as Hazrat's entourage left for Zion, more than a thousand Ahmadi Muslims who were gathered at the Fatih Azim Mosque eagerly awaited Hazu's arrival.
Fazul then led the Maghrib and Isha prayers. Serving as a shining beacon from the center of Zion, the Fath Azim Mosque was to be inaugurated by the hands of Hazrat Khalifa al Masih, the fifth successor of the promised Messiah. Salam. It was Alexander Dawi's animosity towards Islam and abuse of its holy founder that stirred the most devoted servant of the Holy Prophet Muhammad. That being Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed salam, who immediately rose to the defense of Islam. The promised Messiah salam, warned Dawi to desist, but he did not heed this warning. Then under the command of Allah the Almighty, the promised Messiah salam, challenged Dawi to a mubahila, a prayer duel, that whichever of them was a liar should perish in the lifetime of the other. Just as prophesied, Dawi, who was 12 years younger than the promised Messiah salam, and had been seemingly at the peak of his powers, was suddenly overcome by paralysis and passed away in 1907 during the lifetime of the promised Messiah salam. His death fulfilled a prophecy which the promised Messiah salam, under divine guidance declared to be a fath azim meaning a great victory. This was a grand sign not only for those residing in India, rather it was witnessed by millions across the entire Western world and was a great sign of the truth of the man chosen by God, the promised Messiah and Mahdi salam. As Hazu unveiled the plaque, all those in attendance raised slogans of the majesty of Allah the Almighty. Prior to the unveiling of the plaque, Hazur visited an exhibition at the mosque about the prophecy of the promised Messiah al-Salam that also houses many of the publications that reported all the events of the Mubahila challenge. The first edition of Urdu may review religion. Yeah, I think we think so. Usko humne categorize kiya hai by the grace. 